It's been a while since I made a video about the HP Prime calculator and part of the reason is because there really wasn't much to talk about. The last video I made was a comparison between uh, the first gen revision A and the second gen revision D right here. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn this on so you can see for yourself the versions. Okay, so you go to help, tree, scroll all the way through the top about Prime and it will show you all the specs or not the specs, the things you need to know. Okay, so here once again, all the way up. Here, same, all the way up, and prime, about prime. So as you can see, this is revision A, revision C, and revision D, okay, in that order. The difference between uh, these models, okay, sorry for the noise. So revision D and revision C, they are visually identical. As you can see, the keys are the same color. Over here, revision e A, or the first, uh, the first gen, revision A, the keys, the keys here are a slightly uh, darker uh, white or a slightly gray color if you would but over here everything is plain white and even the blue the blue here is darker which makes uh, a lot easier to see in a dark room with this one you guess the, the the color the light blue here makes it really hard to see in a darker room for instance okay so I'm, uh, I'm in a rush here so I am trying to make this video as quick as quickly as I can so it is what it is if I make some mistake or if I say something that doesn't make sense it is what it is anyways in my last comparison video i did uh i just did uh, some one operation really because i wanted to make the video super short it was uh, a summation i'm going I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same the same summation here so you know just to see uh what what, what has improved uh after the software update so you've seen the uh version for yourself so the pattern uh, program is a uh, is a new feature now and the first gen revision A it is is still unstable. Okay, I can easily make this thing crash. If I go to what what is this? Okay, so I, you see this thing is unbelievably unstable. Clear pattern numeric view command. That's now okay. So if I, I'm in pattern numeric view and I press the sim key and press escape. See what happens. The calculator just resets itself. Yeah, it does this all the time. And um, I haven't had a chance to try the same thing with the C, so th this is probably gonna happen right now. I don't, it's probably not gonna happen with the C. Okay, escape. Okay, so it happens with the C as well. So as you can see, if you have the choice, if you can, I would say to stay away from this, the first gen of uh, HP calculator, the, the plan, just stay away from the first gen. At all costs, if you can, HP is really uh, the prime. The first gen prime is uh, is a really unstable calculator, you know. So here it just it just go it, it just kick, kicks you out. It doesn't reset itself, so we, that, that's a good thing. So that's what that was the second gen, as you can see. But over here they just reset themselves. Okay, so I already went ahead and put uh, what I wanted to do on the stack here. So we're gonna start with uh, now. Nah, Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna start with the uh, summation of five five x squared over x. Okay, from one to sixty thousand. Let's see. Hmm. I thought I had this on the stack. I think the fact that the calculator is reset itself has something to do with it being gone. Let's see. So let me just do this one more time, really quick. Okay, x equal one uh, five x squared. I believe I did the same thing in my last uh, comparison video. You know, and uh, this is sixty thousand. What these calculators uh, remain the fastest on the market till this day. The first gen Prime, this one right here, Revision A, is faster than the current uh, TI Inspire CX that came out in two thousand eighteen, five years apart, and it is still faster than than the TI. So that's uh, that's a good thing. When it comes to everyday operations, calculations, these things are unbelievably fast. So that is that. But when it comes to the software, it's uh, it's really finicky, it's really buggy, and I don't think they, I don't even, th I don't even think they can do anything about it. I think he has, he has something through with the, the components as well. So that is that. Okay. So I'm going to do uh, the summation of this uh, expression right here. So first we are going to start with. Uh, I believe I can hit the enter on on all throughout the same time. 
Okay, one, two, three. Two got it, and these two got it almost at the same time. So in my previous video, I came to find out that uh, the second gen Revision D was about three times faster than uh, uh, its uh, predecessor. So yeah, so that is that. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't want to make this video any longer. So if you have any questions about any of these calculators, just make sure you put it in the comment section and I'll make sure to get to them. And my channel is really small and obviously I'm not really doing this for uh, the money or even for the views because I know for a fact that these videos are probably not going to get any attention, at least not anytime soon. So I'm just doing this for the future, maybe 5, 10 years from now, even 20, 30 years from now, if YouTube is still around. You know, some people, people from the future might find this helpful. It'd be like, oh, that's the kind of calculator they were using back then. And I wanted to, I, I wanted to make as many videos as I can about these calculators. You know, so uh, people can uh, know what we were using back then. You know, and uh, I find it really unfortunate that uh, there aren't uh, many videos about uh, the legacy calculators, such as uh, the 49G. Even the 50G, the 50G, even though it's a really, really popular calculator, there aren't enough videos, you know, there aren't enough videos about that calculator. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to make that right. You know, I should be getting my 50G. Uh, well, I haven't even uh, gotten one yet. I haven't purchased yet, but uh, I plan on getting one. I already have a 49G. I already made a couple of videos about the 49G. And uh, yeah, that is that. Part of the reason why uh, HPs are not really popular uh, in school is because uh, they really were not meant uh, uh, with uh, the students in mind. They were more, they, they were, uh, they were meant for more like uh, engineers. And TI is probably gonna dominate the school market forever because that's just the way things are. And that kind of gives TI, you know, uh, the ball, and they can play balls all they want. You, you know for for the same amount of money for 150 dollars you what you get with an hp calculator and uh the same with the same amount of money what you get with the ti calculator you know it, it kind of it's unbelievable you know it feels like like you've been you've been cheated out of your money the ti is unbelievably slow even when it comes to uh submissions if you see an hp calculator take maybe five seconds to do a, an, uh, a calculation don't even think about doing the same thing with your TI. You know, of course, it's not about it's, it's not about speeds. All these calculators are a lot faster than uh, a human being can ever be. You know, but I'm just saying, if you are paying one hundred and fifty dollars, it would be nice, you know, to have something that that's uh you know that's uh, comparable to 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 any of these. You know, it just uh, it's just unfortunate that TI yeah, Texas Instrument doesn't really uh they aren't really making any effort if you. If you really look into uh, Texas Instrument calculators, the TI Inspire, ever since it came out in 2006, not much has changed, really, not much has changed when it comes to the software. The software is pretty much identical. If you had the uh, original TI Inspire uh, CX, whether, I mean, the TI Inspire uh, click pad or the touch pad, and uh, you are not gonna be in a new territory when it comes to the new one. The only difference is slightly faster and the color screen, so that's about it. But on the other hand, if you look at the 50G and the HP Prime, that is a, a huge difference. It's like a day and night. It's like a, the moon and the sun, you know, two complete different things, you know. And uh, yeah, it's really unfortunate. And I understand that these manufacturers, they're not really making a, a lot of money with these calculators. You know, I mean, some, somebody has to do it. So <laughs> at least they're doing it. You know, they really aren't doing it for the money. Even if TI stopped making calculators, uh, I mean, cal it's not even gonna put a big dent into their like earning, you know. So that is that, and uh, at least they're still making them, and uh, which is good for us hobbyists and collectors, you know. At least we can enjoy them while they last, and uh, that is that. So I may, I'm, I just decided to make this quick address uh, in regards to a comment I received the other day on one of my video. Uh, this guy commented that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this was about my HP uh, 49G video. He said that uh, okay, this is not. I'm just I'm just trying I'm just paraphrasing what 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 he meant. So he what he meant essentially is that what's why why would anybody uh, make a video about a calculators from nearly 20 years ago? You know, it's like uh, I don't understand people like that on the internet. I'm, it's really 
you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not, I'm not surprised by a lot of things in this world, but uh, it really, it really treat, it, it's really uh, interesting when I, when I see a person takes a, when when I see a person who watch a video that he probably didn't even watch. It. When I see a person just, you know, just going, just going around online and just judge, judging people, it's, it's a really, it's a really weird, uh, it's a, it's a weird behavior. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. It's really, really weird, and that's something I really hope I will, I'm never gonna understand because I don't even want to understand what's going on in these people's mind. And it just, you know, he was uh, trying to be disrespectful. Why are you making a calculator videos, uh, calculators that are like 20 years old? You know, they have the TI-84 and stuff like that, right? Do you, you know we are, this is 2022. And I didn't even, I don't even think I, I responded to his comment because it's just, you know, you just have this, uh, it's, it's just stupid, you know. He, he was trying to compare a TI-84 to a HP uh, 49G plus or even a FT 50G for that matter. <laughs> I mean, you have to really be stupid to even compare these two, you know. And uh, even though the uh, HP is, uh, the HP is uh, nearing its uh, 20th birthday, so so is, uh, is the 84 and he doesn't even know that, you know. So you have these people who just... We just talk because they can talk. Yeah, anyways, we don't, I don't do it for the views or even the money. Obviously, you're not going to make any money making calculators video. We all know that. We all know that. There isn't a single calculator uh, account, I mean a single calculator channel online, you know, that has millions of followers. You know, I've never seen that. You know, I might be the, I might be the first. I might not be. You know, all these calculators uh, uh, channels, they, they are not really very active. You know, and I am trying to make a difference in that department. I know I'm doing a lot of ranting, but uh, that's uh, that's uh, part of my video. I don't really plan my videos because you know why why write a script. You know, this is this is uh, my hobby. This is uh, what I'm passionate about, and uh, I just uh, you know I just uh, start recording and just uh, speak my mind. You know, by calculators and whatever, why not? And uh, yeah, that is that. So we just do it for the passion of it, you know, for the love of calculators. Calculators are cool, and I don't think you can ever have too many, too, too many of them. And uh, just uh, two days ago, or was it now? It was just yesterday, I think. Yesterday or two days ago, I can't even remember. A friend of mine helped me fix my TI-89 titanium. Well, I, I, he really didn't help me. He did the whole thing himself because I didn't have the tools. So he, I just went to his, over to his house, and uh, we took care of the problem. You know, and uh, the satisfaction we both got from that is, uh, you know, it was unbelievably rewarding. We didn't get paid. None of us got paid for doing it. We just did it because we love calculators. The 89 Titanium can be picked up online on eBay, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. You know, locally, you can, you can pick it up. You can pick one up like in great condition for like 30 bucks, 20 bucks. I've seen some for 10 bucks, 15 dollars. You know, and we spent we spent a, a little a little over two hours uh, fixing the calculators. I mean, not the calculators, just one calculator. And uh, after we finished uh, fixing it, we did some soldering, we did some washing, we washed it, we did some soldering, and uh, it is working like brand new. You know, and the satisfaction we got from from fixing that is uh, you know was was so 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 rewarding. You know, it's uh, you know. It is, it is what it is, you know, it's, you know, just do what you love, no matter what anybody thinks, you know. And uh, again, I digress. I know this was just meant to be like a five minutes video, but here we are nearly 15 minutes. If you have any questions, uh, just make sure you put them in the comment section. I will do my best to get to your questions.